Good morning everyone, this is Diane Cisneros. Today is Saturday and I'm going to do Diane Will Teach Me That. And this is the card I'm going to do. It's The technique is reverse masking. And I was looking online at some other videos to get some ideas and this idea was Patty Bennett's. And um, I'm going to show you how to do this uh, reverse masking and use uh, several different sets to get it done. Now, uh, first of all, Soft Sky uh, was one of our colors a while ago. It went away and has come back. So I'm using Soft Sky and I cut my paper five and a half by eight and a half, scored it at four and a quarter. Then I layered a Whisper White piece, which is one eighth of an inch smaller than the original. This one is another Soft Sky, which is another eighth of an inch smaller. Now you don't need to do any of that if you're not a person that likes to layer. But um, I'm going to go ahead and show you how I did the front. Now, I took a piece of paper that fits perfectly on the front of that card. And then I, I made myself a um, template. And the way I did that is I took, uh, let's see, I can't find it. Oh, here it is. My Apothecary Accents Framelits. And this big one here is the one I used. Now I ran it through the Big Shot and just cut it out and left this to use. Now I've used it a couple times before. You can use it over and over. I'm going to line this up on the lines on my board. And then uh, now you can push this as far over as you want. You can have more or less. And I am going to line it up. And the reason I, I go by these little squares is because it's amazing. Uh, if you don't pay attention, this thing is crooked. So I'm looking at these little grooves and how they line up with that line. Now I'm going to take a one and a quarter inch circle that I punched out with our one and a quarter inch punch. And I'm using removable tape and I'm just putting it, well, there it is. Okay. It does not have to be in the center. I like it kind of off center. Then I'm taking my new Soft Sky ink and a sponge. And I'm going to tap around lightly. But you do want to make sure you get plenty of ink around the design. You can make it as light or as dark as you want. But I like um, to be able to define the lines along this template. Okay, so I'm going to lift this up. And this is what I have. I'm going to uh, take a pair of scissors and lift up this piece and get it off. Then I will take my uh, little eraser and get this removable adhesive off. And I have a little stuff on my board. Okay, so I went ahead and did that. And then the next thing I did was I took um, this template with this same shape. And that is located in our catalog. Um, on page 181, it's called Essential Paper Piercing Pack. There's three different uh, sheets of this, and they all have several different designs on them, and it's only $7.95. So um, what I want to show you is this is the uh, pad that goes, the paper piercing mat that goes with it. And what you do is you just line it up. Very easy. Take your paper piercer and go around the outside lines. Now I've already done that. I have that all done so that you don't have to watch me do that. And there it is. Now I'm going to take a stamp set called, called, let's see, that's not the one. This is the one, uh, Serene Silhouettes. I'm going to use this stamp. I have that all mounted and ready to go. And I'm using Crumb Cake. And I want this to, um, let's see, I want this to line up at the bottom and the top part hit the sun a little bit. Okay, so that came out great. And now I'm going to use my 
um, stamp them a jig and this is the set I used I used the saying from blooming with kindness right here hope is a wish with a little more clout so I'm gonna line up I stamped it on my plastic mat and this way I know it's straight sometimes it isn't straight yeah there it goes okay I'm gonna move that and for the for the greeting, I want to use uh, espresso. I want this a little darker. And I'm just going to slide it down. And that came out great. Okay, so now I am going to add a couple of butterflies from Papillon Potpourri. And I've used this flower butterfly. And we also have a punch that goes with it that came out of the... Um, spring catalog. It's on page 13. It's called Biddy Butterfly. And I already went ahead and stamped it and put some little pearls on it. I made one in Soft Sky and then I made one in the Crumb Cake. And I'm just going to lift those wings a little bit and I, I'm done. So what I like to do with a card like this is put dimensionals on. And that just lifts it up. I should have done this already, but it won't take long. And it will add a lot to the card. Okay, so I've already put together the rest of the card. I'm going to pull it out. And this will lay right here perfectly on top of this piece with dimensionals. OMG. It's beautiful. Okay, so that's my video for today. Diane will teach me that. That's called reverse masking, and I want to thank Patty Bennett for the idea, and I'll see you again soon. Thanks for stopping by.